Welcome back, everyone. Um, a little bit of work done off camera. We'll talk about that in a minute. Right now, I want a grass field. Um, well, I want this grass is what I want to say. Um, but the problem is, is I've tried and tried and tried to get course play to create a custom field and I can't do it. Um, it just keeps failing over and over again. I don't know why. So I've decided I'm going to try a different strategy and we're going to make our own boundary. Uh, we'll get this field all set up. These are the northern northern pieces that we bought and we bought a lot, uh, a lot of fields recently. A lot of plots of land. It's time to start using it up. And I've got some strategies for both this end on the other side as well but the other side we're gonna we're gonna dig in and and create a um a new field right away we're not gonna grab the grass so i did keep an eye on the on the cattle and they're going through food like crazy I did some hay baling off camera to uh hopefully hopefully uh, avert a situation where I run out of food. I don't want to do that. So we got to keep it going. There's a lot, a lot to do. A lot of tedious work to repetitive stuff. So we'll, you know, we'll do a fair amount of jump cutting on certain things. Uh, got a little bit of feedback regarding the um, remove all trees question that I asked if, if I should do that and um, somebody brought up the point that doing that at this point in the game might create a risk of a corrupted game save or crash or something so I don't think we're going to do it um, I, I mean I, I could do you know backups and, and try it and stuff like that but Ultimately, I think we've got our hands full here for the next several episodes, and I honestly don't know how many more episodes are in this series. I think we're going to get to a saturation point where, uh, you know, short of doing forestry work, which I really don't want to get into anymore, um, there's not going to be that much new to do, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. We'll see. I still have not figured out next series yet, and um, I don't know why I'm having a hard time pick, picking a map. Um, I've got a couple of candidates that I'm thinking about, but I'm just, you know, hasn't, I don't know, I kind of wait till it hits me, you know? Yeah, this is the one, this is the one I need to do. And for the most part, most of the series that I've done have been maps that I've, I've, not regretted picking. Uh, there's been one or two that... You know what? I, I don't regret picking any of them. But the way they turned out in the end uh, is not kind of the vision um, that I had, so... But I guess I'm getting pickier and pickier. Which is a good thing in a way, but in a, in a bad way it's... Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting maybe to a creative uh, roadblock, I guess. I think I went too close to the fence here. This might be a problem. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. How's everybody doing today? But I'll let you know uh, some of the maps that I'm considering. Um, I am considering Fairhead as a map to do a kind of a sheep farming, silage making kind of, I don't know, it's a beautiful map, it's very unique, and um, I've been thinking about that one for quite a while, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, Daggerwin has just started a series on there, a realistic series, I think. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know. When I when I think about maps that I want to do, I actually go and start up a, a game save and I play a little bit and see how it feels. And uh, I have done a little bit of a fairhead uh, gameplay, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's a tricky map, though. Uh, there's some real tight areas, which you'll know how I do with those. <laughs> um, that said, uh, we'll see. Uh, I do try to do cross-play maps, maps that are available both on on uh, PC and console, just to you know be inclusive, I guess. Uh, people who want to play along and stuff like that. Uh, there's one, though, that I'm considering that is not cross-play. And I guess it's okay if I do it every now and then. Um, I am looking at the Alaska uh, Dredge Creek map, which looks pretty interesting. It's a beautiful, beautiful map. But, uh, you know, um, the way that the ambiance is set up. So I'm considering that one. Uh, kind of a survival theories kind of thing. Um, what else? What else do I have my eyes on? Uh, Spruce Mountain is an interesting one. It's a 4x map and uh, PC only again. Besides that, I'm not quite sure. There's there's a few others that I've had a look at. The new Palengi uh, map, French map. Which looks interesting. I've heard that it's a little buggy. Um, not sure. Not sure if that's a one-off um, issue or if it's a real map issue. I don't know. It's funny though. The, the, I've actually considered doing a previous series version two. Okay, where am I going here? I better start turning. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm creating the outline of the of the uh, the field, uh, but I'm still gonna mow it. So this will allow me to. Uh, there we go. Turn off create fields. I'm just gonna go here because we might need this again after. All right. Sorry, I've been blabbing a lot at the beginning of this one. All right, let's get this mower going. Hopefully, it won't have problems creating a map. I was able to create the custom field, but I could not get um, horseplay to, to set up a track on it. It kept failing over and over again. I tried like four, four different times redrawing uh, the course to try to get, I don't know, maybe I wasn't connecting right or something. There's actually one here that... Uh, I want to get rid of the custom field. And I want to create a job. Okay, so it's detecting the new one, no problem. Open course generator will do two headlands, smooth, no bypass. Let's see what happens this time. I should have saved before this. I always get worried. When it takes too long, sometimes it goes not responding, and I worry that it's going to crash. I really should have done that. Okay. Okay, it did it. No problem. See, it works no problem now. Um, but for some reason, when I draw, hand draw them. Nope. Okay. So obviously it's not going to mow dirt, but that's okay. We'll pretend like there's grass there. Okay, so this is going to take quite a while to do. I'll let this go. Let's get on to some other stuff. Oh, it's throwing it on the other side. Okay, um, this guy's ready to go, but first we got another field we got to cut in. So we're starting this episode with some field creation. Uh, this one here, I'm not going to mow. I'm just going to get it um, all set up. So this is going to take a little bit do that's why i want to start them right away i kind of should have started this before i started recording but yeah anyways you'll see 
I did run around and get all the trees. I think I got them all. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna cut this in myself. First run of our new quad track. There we go. All right. All right, let's see how straight I can go with this. This should be good. This one I... Well, I want to say I could do this manually, but it's still quite a bit of work. This is going to be an odd-shaped field. I'm going to make it as big as I can, leaving a gap, uh, but eventually I think I will be joining the two fields. Not sure. We'll see. We'll see about that. Kind of nice to have a variety of fields going and not just two big monsters, you know. Um, you gotta sometimes end up having to wait quite a while. Okay, let me get this perimeter done and I'll be back to you guys in a minute. All right, moving along here. It's taking a, a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. There's some kind of like, I don't want to say they're pre-made fields, but they're kind of colored differently. Um, we're up by the farmhouse now. So, yeah, we're just going to grab up what we can. Dude, those trees are sticking out a bit over there, so I don't want to have to have a weird shape. Too much of a weird shape anyway. This should be good. Yeah, not doing this manually. Get my little course play buddy taking care of this. I have to cut a tree or two, I'll do that. Just uh, I think I went it I went in a little too far. Could make an island. I might cut that tree down that one. So I did um I did a little bit of um Preparing, I guess, for the cows, uh, for the new barns, the two new barns. Uh, they've got hay in them, they've got straw in them. Uh, all I need to do now is buy buy some cows. But I'm going to uh, wait a little bit because I'm a little worried about my feed. And I think, I think it's probably better um, if I wait just a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I do have a bunch of hay bales out in the fields, the two uh, smaller fields, I guess. And they're kind of ready, ready to go. Um, but I don't know exactly how much I have. I probably have enough to keep the cows going for two or three months still. So that's, that's not bad, but I do need, do need a bigger grass field plan. I don't think I want to make it this field. I think I might make it the other one where I'm currently mowing. So, we'll see. We need a ton of it, though. Ton. We're almost done. Here, and I'm going to set this on a course. I'm not sure if I should take down these trees to square this off a bit. We'll see. We'll try it with this design and we'll see, see how it goes. Now I did um, empty all of the slurry from the two cow barns and delivered them to the BGA. It was about, uh, for just one month, it was about 400,000 liters. 
which is pretty incredible. Um, I did, uh, actually I'm trying to think whether I finished it or not. No, I did get some of the manure out, uh, but I think there's still some to get. So we'll get on that in a minute. I just really kind of wanted to get these two big field creation slash bailing things going because they take so long. And we can worry about the detail. I do have plans for a production we're going to put up in this episode. We're going to get a dairy going. With so many dairy cows, I think it only makes sense. Alright, let's see if we can smooth out this corner nicely. I do want a bit rounder corners than I did on that field. That's the beauty though, is we can adjust this. Alright, almost there. Uh, close, close. Okay, let's lift that up. Let's create this course, should be interesting. Let's save first, there we go, saving. And uh, set up a course. We're going to do no bypass. We're going to do two headlands. We're going to start from the center. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't crash. Okay, it did it, but it didn't do it in the direction I thought it would. So I don't know if I'm going to have a problem here. I guess, I don't know. I guess we can try it. I thought it would go the longest. I don't know, this might actually be better. Uh, where's my start point? Way in the corner. Let's head over there. I know that I can just, you know, order, order this uh, worker to go over there, but I prefer to start it myself for some reason. Don't know why. On the way back, I can cut that one tree. Maybe two. Alright, let's see how this goes. Uh, Alright. Okay, let's do a quick check on the other guy just to make sure. Where are we? Okay, so we're seems to be mowing okay. This is gonna take a really long time, I think. I don't know, I kinda think maybe I should get two mowers. I was considering by uh, so, uh, this is still leased, so I could return it and then get the one that's got the, the back PTO. And if I need to do silage runs, I could just do it like all in one shot. I just attach the quickie quick bale, quick quickie bale, quick quick bale, whatever it's called, and uh, um, I would all, do the whole thing like an all in one shot. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. We'll get some more money, though. Okay. Uh, this guy's patiently waiting for a field, which is going to be that one. All right, so we got milk. So that's one thing to deal with in a minute. Tab, tab, tab. All right. Uh, I didn't unload it yet. Come on. Start the engine, I said. Okay, and then I want to check the uh, productions solid fertilizer. So I'm full here, so I'm going to uh, set that to auto sell. Um, yeah, we should see that go pretty quick. There we go. Oh. 
we're gonna be creating a ton more digestate so it's not a problem this will get our bank account going pretty quick Could have switched it a couple of minutes earlier. Let's get this lined up for more manure. And I just realized I think my truck's in the way, as usual. The manure has started populating in one of the new barns, even though there's no cows. Oh, it's a little confusing how the distribution works. Okay, I need in here. Let's get this out of the way for now. I'm gonna upgrade my truck at some point to get a better, more powerful truck. I've got more here and I've got more in one of the new barns. Okay. All right, tab, 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 tab. This is where I wanna go. All right, so let's get a dairy going. Um, I did some little light road work, put up a few trees, not many. I'll put up more though. I'll get this looking pretty. Um, production. Now, I tried to find, like, a industrial kind of dairy, but I couldn't really find anything um, that I liked. So that's carpentry. This is a dairy here. This is the base game one. Uh, so that's an option. 70,000. There's this one here, which is um, a little bit smaller. I don't know if that, that's base game as well. And the premium expansion, I think has one as well. Yeah, which is a bit different. So I don't know what the capacities are or anything. Um, so yeah. There's one that's a TD, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just have a look. We're going to cheat on this series. We may as well do it right. Farm Dairy Mod. Um, it's just a little trailer. <laughs> um, this one here is cheaty, so I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, it does bottled milk and... Uh, butter, cheese, and chocolate. I have no sugar, so we won't be doing any chocolate, that's for sure. I'm tempted to try it, but it's just, it just feels so underwhelming as far as a look and feel, you know? I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll just try it, right? Maybe we'll just try it. Let me set that up uh, somewhere non-intrusive. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, maybe just over here. So the input is there. And the milk pallets or whatever the products are going to be coming out there. Um, I don't care because I'm going to set everything to auto sell anyway. I don't have time for that. Well, let's try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll, maybe we'll do two, right? I have no idea. I've never used this before. I don't know what cheaty actually means. So we'll figure it out. And we'll do another one, which is kind of what I originally wanted do, to do. And I think we'll just pick one of the base game ones, maybe. Um, Base game. Okay, so the drop-off is there. That's the Milmond one. The, the pallets drop. They drop there. I could do this one like this. I think that that could work. 
Right around there. You can go right up against the fence, I guess. And painting. Uh, what do we have here? Dirt. I don't know why I'm paving my way to that because we're not going to be doing that, but we're not going to be dealing with pallets. So let's continue this in the corner here. And leave enough room for maybe some trees back here. Look nice. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Oops. Had too much coffee. I can come around with the truck, turn. I think I can get the angle to uh, be able to deliver the milk. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got 177,000 liters. So I am going to put, uh, I'll start with some over at the cheaty one, see what happens there. Okay, let's see if I can dump out. It's gonna take a little while. I'll dump out like half of it ish. -ish. Okay, so I put in um, probably around 80,000 in there. Well, let's run around this way. I'll load up the other one. I haven't started either one yet, so we'll see what we start with. Um, I have to figure out my road system through here. I want to come around from the other side. I hope I can get this angle good. tight but it works and I just realized that these productions might not uh, cheaty so that's almost full so that can only handle I think a hundred thousand and this one uh, again is another hundred thousand so we're gonna be pushing the limits of both of these so let's get this guy started raw milk I don't know where that's gonna oh Maybe that's the cheaty part. This stuff is, might be worth a mint. Um, let's activate all of these. See what happens. Oh, there's no outgoing product. What the heck? I don't understand that. What? What the heck? Okay. Anyways, anyways, uh, ninety thousand. Each one is a hundred thousand. So let's activate these guys, and then we're gonna set these to auto sell right away because I don't want to deal with those pallets. Change output mode. Okay, so what I want to see really is how fast they process. We'll have to keep an eye on it. I know that the base game one is not fast. It's not very fast. 480 cycles. This one is 4,800 cycles. 10 times the speed, I think. So what's the ratio? 15 to 13 on butter. So it's the same ratio. This is just does it a hell of a lot faster. A heck of a lot faster. 
All right. Um, let's. We need a home for this thing. And hopefully, not running into fences. All the slurry and milk are taken care of, so I don't need this for a little bit. Okay, let's do a quick check. That is going okay. This is done. Okay, so we've got everything here. So only 29,000 liters. Let's get it. Oh boy. Put that in an awkward place. There's more over here. Uh, what's the best way in here? Yeah, there's more there. I don't know how much there is. It's filling up. Oh, this one fills up fast. Good stuff. And there's not a lot here, so... So... I really want to get these cows in here. You know what? I'm probably... I'm probably going to do that right away. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? I gotta go this way. I expect our bank account is going to jump pretty seriously at 10 o'clock. Alright. Um, I don't have any crops ready to harvest. I think uh, sunflower is due next month. Is that right? Yeah, next month for sunflower. And this is going to be a grass field once we get the sunflower out. I should probably build an oil mill as well, shouldn't I? That's a, that's a lot of sunflower. Why don't we do that? Why not? 219. I have money. I have money. And I probably need a production up here somewhere. Uh, da, da, da. Where can I do that? Probably at this end over here. Yeah, I think a nice big oil mill over here would be good. Let's do that. Now there's... Uh, what is it? This one? No. This one? This one. So that's the base game one. Let's see if I can find another one. Okay, I guess I don't have much loaded up as far as oil mills. So I think we're going to go with the base game one. And I think we should put that... Um, I think if I put it here, it should be pretty good to dump there. As far over as I can. Right here. Boom. Okay, so that's going to be for sunflower. We're going to dump all that in there and, and set this again to auto sell, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this guy is not really useful out here anymore, so let's get let's get going. Get out of here. Now what can I do in this corner over here? I could extend this out, and I mean I could make a big field with this merging later, but I think we'll keep it separate for now. Now, what am I putting into this big field when it's ready here? Um, I have to think about that.
I could do another grain crop. I could do something. Oh boy, we have this canola too for the oil mill. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I think maybe we'll do another grain crop. Or should I do like just like soybean? Soybean is so good. And maybe we'll do soybean. We'll try to. I don't want to do too much grain. I don't want. I don't want to get too much straw. Well, actually, I could use the straw in here, couldn't I? Okay, another grain crop. Another grain crop. We'll do. Uh, I don't know, we'll do barley or something. What did I put in this other field over here? Okay, so I put barley here. So here we can do um, maybe oats. Oats are pretty quick and it's August. I could technically put oats in here, get it up by the end of, uh, get it harvested by the end of like, December, I think, and then put in soybean in there afterwards to be ready for peak price. I think I'll do that. Holy smokes, this is taking a long time. That might dip in the next episode, I think. All right, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? We got to deal with some bales. Um, where is my bale trailer? It's over in there. We gotta feed some cows. And we'll buy some more cows. We'll, do, we'll get it done. That oil mill was pricey. First we'll get the ones off this little field here. I think there's four or five of them. This field will be ready again real soon to harvest, so that's, you know, if there's five bales, that's 250,000 liters. Um, not bad, you know. Got six bales out here. I started watching some YouTubes for other games. I, I'm always curious about other stuff. Um, and I stumbled across a game, which I, I don't think I, I think I'd seen it before, but I just never registered what it, what it actually was. Um, but the ultimate, what is it called? Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Holy smokes, that's a cool game. I mean, I think it would get old pretty quick. It's not something you, you know, could play with for a long time. It would get repetitive, but that is kind of cool. Monster, massive battles, zombies versus Star Wars Jedis versus giants, whatever. Military, epic, epic sized battles, like six million zombies. Um, anyways, kind of cool. I've been watching them and I find them very, uh, um, I want to say captivating to watch. You turn it on and, and the guys that are doing the, uh, the content, um, there's nobody does, it doesn't seem anybody does any kind of narration or anything. There's just a background music and battle sounds. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to pick it up. Anybody played that one before?
So uh, I mentioned in the past that I've got a, a new job, which is uh, making recording a little bit more tricky. I'm always at the last minute now. Well, not at the last minute, but I, I, I'm, I have less time now. Um, so uh, I had a chat with my new boss and turns out um, well, we talked a lot, but we somehow ended up on the, on the subject of um, gaming. And it turns, turns out he's as much a gamer as I am. Uh, if not more, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we got 20 bales total. So 20 times 50. Uh, what is that? 20 times 50. Um, that's a million, million, a million. I want to put some in here, but I also want to give some to the cows. I think we'll unload here and I'll shove whatever I want. I don't want into there. Um, okay, let's unload this right here. For a little bit. We'll let that reset. Okay, goal. Let's get these topped up and then whatever. Actually, maybe we'll top up the other ones too. Now, this is all the hay that I have left, so. Um, to be conscious of that. I will have more coming pretty soon now. Well, I need straw too. That I don't have. Uh-oh. I didn't think of that. I don't know how far when my barley field is due. Um, let's give each each one a load. We'll see where we're at. I don't know what the capacities on these are. Let's have a look at that real quick. 250. I don't remember what these are. Uh, sheds. Uh, I don't have cows, so I can't check. Blech. Okay, let me get let me get three over to the other one, and we'll buy some cows, and then we'll see where everything sits. I can plop trees down in the cow pens. Not sure. Give them some shade. Guess we should maybe shove this. Okay. Uh, where do I buy cows in these? Uh, where's the trigger? I think it's at the front here somewhere. There we go. 
So I think we'll do just dairy on both of them. And uh, let's get uh, 500, right? So um, since they're dairy, I don't know why I would want these ones. So let's buy... Somebody mentioned there's a mod um, that lets you buy much higher capacities, so I need to look into that. What are we at? Why am I not buying more? Buy? Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, geez. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's speed up the clock here to get uh, 10 o'clock. I'm going to have a bolo of more money, I think. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't like the way this does this. Bye. I have to reselect the same thing again. Not buying okay now. Three sixty. Four twenty. 480 and let's buy 20 of these I don't know why I did that but we're full okay so now I can see through here these are the brown Swiss so um, there's probably enough for about 400,000 liters of, of hay and then straw can probably go up uh, maybe 200,000 Okay, let's do the other one real quick. Our manure and slurry production is going to go through the roof. Give me a second, I'll do these guys as well, guys. I'll do all, all browns out here. Okay, I bought a little bit more of the younger ones on this side. They all look the same to me, but... So be it. All right. Time for the fun to really start. Yeah, I was worried I was going to run out of money again. So. Alright, uh, where's my little buddy? Here we go. Uh, let's do a quick check of everything. So, same deal. These guys can use a lot more. And, um... These guys could use a lot more as well. So let's get the big barns popped up. I don't think I'm putting anything in the storage. Yeah, I am not putting anything in the storage. Boom. And let's knock this one over. There we go. Okay, that might top it, this one up. guys see if I can just pick up one of them yeah I'll we'll give them each one more that'll be it that's our that's our inventory so we've got more bales coming from the, the one that we're currently mowing but the capacity is not going to be very high I like the uh, the yield is not going to be very high I should say 
that's going to be a bit of a, I don't know, weak uh, fill, but these fields will be coming up again real soon. That's going to be another 18 bales, 20 bales, I think. But 20 bales every three months is not going to be enough. We're going to need to have another big field, and we'll get that done real soon. Okay. That's that chore done. I'm going to go have a look and check out what's going on with the others. Let me just put this away. Probably need another shed on this side of the business. That one shed over there is good, but it's kind of far now. Okay, quick check. This is... Oh, I want to say three quarters done. We'll finish that off camera. This is nowhere near done. Uh-oh. That one. Oh, no, it's still going. For a second it was stuck. Okay, so... So here's what we're going to do. Because these won't be finished. And uh, I really would like to move the months along so uh for uh off camera i will finish plowing this and i will um put in oats we'll get the uh the big the big drill out here uh putting in oats and then the other field on the other side i don't know what i'm putting in there yet i haven't figured that out but I'm going to get it all mowed and uh, edited and windrowed and baled uh, for hay because we really need it. And that stuff, I'll probably do most of that off camera. So that next episode we can move into um, September and the, uh, the sunflower is going to be ready. And then I think the canola is ready in October. So... We got two big harvests coming up, uh, both of which will load up the oil mill uh, solidly, and then we'll probably, I don't know, maybe we'll bank it uh, to be used in the oil mill, uh, or we might just sell whatever's left over. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Let me just do a quick check here. Uh, productions. Let's jump back up here. Nah, I don't feel bad about this thing. Feel bad we have also this that's not really doing anything. But, you know, we could use it again. We'll see. Solid fertilizer all sold, but digestate's filling up again. This is all going down, so the bank account is still going to go, like, nuts. Um, this is... It's not that fast. It's not that fast. But it should be done for next month. We should be down, but we'll have a ton more milk. Like a, like a lot of more milk. And I'm going to activate these uh, sunflower right away before, so I don't forget. Olive oil. I don't want to get into that. I don't know this. Anybody know what this does? It's not here as an outgoing product, so what, what exactly happens to this? There's, there's a catch here. I feel like there's a catch here somewhere. So, anyways. Uh, how are we doing for time? I think... I think we're good um, as far as everything that we need to do. Let me drop this down. That one here? No. It's almost full. Perfect. This is full. 475 or 48 give me that they'll both be full give me that how much I got left in here 19,000 
There we go. Zero inventory. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. And um, if you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. Next episode, harvests. Harvest, two big harvests, I think. We'll try to get two in in the next one and jump through a couple of months. I hope you guys have a great day.